Okay, we're going to show you another application for your HiRel 3D printer, which is a multi-purpose CNC machine. We'll be using our spindle tool for a real-life rework job. Um, you may be familiar with this circuit board if you already have one of our printers. If not, it's the yoke board where you plug in the individual print heads. We had a problem where um, the surface mount fuses on here, like this guy, if they were to blow, it's rare, but if something happens, if something gets plugged in wrong, replacing them requires removing the board and desoldering and soldering on a new fuse. So we decided to go to a replaceable surface mount fuse in a holder. Like this, you can see the replaceable fuse makes it much easier to change them out. But the problem is these the fuse holders were larger than the, uh, the space we had here. So in order to prevent the, a short circuit, we have to cut this little trace here and basically move the entire assembly that way. So what I've done is I've set up my tooling plate with standoffs to fit the, um, the yoke circuit board and I've programmed the G-code to come in and make a small pass at each one of these traces here to cut through the trace so we can solder down the new fuse without shorting directly to the 12 volts. I'm going to load this one on here. I'm just using these little standoffs like thumb screws to hold it down. And as you can see, I've used this same tooling plate for several different projects. You can make this out of any piece of scrap metal or plastic. Alright, now normally you'd want to operate this with a vacuum cleaner, but we left it off to avoid the noise. So you can see what we've done is come in here and cut through this little trace so that when we put the larger fuse holder on it, we don't, um, we don't short to the 12 volts coming in right there. So next step is we're going to solder them down. Um, so there's another use of our milling head.